Hey everyone, welcome back to The Duck Under with Austin Pettigrew. And today I'm going to talk about a tragedy that has happened in the wrestling community and that was announced uh, yesterday actually. And that's going to be that Stanford uh, plans on cutting its wrestling program after the 2020-2021 season. So for those of you who don't know about the Stanford wrestling program, uh, it is headed by Jason Borelli. Uh, he's been there since 2008 and he will be entering his 12th season this year. Uh, Stanford overall has had 23 All-Americans. They've had one national champion in Matt Gentry in 2004 when he defeated Jake Perceville of Ohio University at 157 pounds. Uh, they've also had two finalists, one of them being Matt Gentry and the other one being Nick Amujaseki. Uh He placed second in both of his finalist appearances in 2011 and 2012 uh, where he faced uh, Ed Roots and John Reeder. Uh, Stanford has also had one Pac-12 championship, which is uh, kind of odd why they're cutting the program because it's uh, very recent, actually. It was last year in 2019 when they beat Arizona State and Oregon State to claim the Pac-12 championship for the first time. And over uh, Jason Borelli's uh, 12 years, they've done really well. They've improved the program. It was a rising program. Uh, they had three seconds during that time period of Jason Borelli's uh, time there. And they've also had two third places. And this is all within the decade of the 2010s, not even count as 2008, 2009 season. Uh, they, uh, this year, I mean, they even had uh, two guys ranked number three overall in the NCAA championship. And I'm sure both of them went All-American. And that is uh, Shane Griffith and Real Woods, who are both really good wrestlers. The latter, Shane Griffith, was in the Hodge... Uh, trophy race because he was undefeated and the tournament didn't happen. So, I mean, really? Uh, they've also have rising star Nathan Traxler, who's at 197. He was seated 12th this year. I believe, I truly believe he would have All-American. Uh, they have incoming freshman, freshman Jaden Abbas, who was a freshman this year. I believe he was redshirted. And they also have returning Gabe Townsell, who is pretty good in his own right, and he'll wrestle at 133, I assume. Uh, in 2016 to 2017, uh, Stanford had a record of their own of nine NCAA qualifiers, which that's nothing to slouch on. I don't know how many All-Americans they had during that season, but nine NCAA qualifiers for a program like Stanford, uh, for any program, that's excellent. I mean, that's really good to have nine NCAA qualifiers, qualify nine of your guys to be able to go on the big stage and possibly become All-Americans. Uh, their highest finish in the NCAA championship, this is under Borelli, is that they finished 11th. That is their high fi highest finish. They finished under that, under Borelli. Uh, and uh, they also were doing really good in the recruiting, with their recruiting classes. Uh, you know, it says their highest recruiting class was six of the last 12 were in the top 15. That's half of their recruiting classes. That's pretty damn good. I would say. And shooting 28, their 2018 class was number seven overall. That's really good. And for those of you who don't know, this program is old. It started in 1916. It's over 100 years old. And to cut a program like that is terrible. And you know, was it the only program cut or is going to be cut by Stanford? No, it isn't. You also have uh, like a, 10 other sports that are going to be cut, which is tragic to cut any sport because it's losing opportunity for athletes and all that. But to cut their wrestling program after 100 years, that's terrible, absolutely terrible. And I mean, you know, there had to be another way to save this program. And Stanford right now is the highest program to be cut due to the uh, disease that's going on right now. You know, Old Dominion cut their program for supposedly the same reason. That, that old, old, old Dominion thing is still sketchy as can be because it was like one of the first ones to be cut after this whole situation going on in the world was announced. But Stanford to cut theirs, I mean, who knows what can happen now? Because if you don't know, Sam, Stanford is a private school. Uh, its funds come from other means, from donors, all that kind of stuff. Uh, usually how the endowment works in the stock market, different stuff like that. And uh, it's shocking. It really is shocking to see Stanford cut their program because 
They were all, they were a rising program. When you look at their lineup, I mean, I just named off five guys who could possibly be All-Americans. I haven't even looked at their recruiting classes. But Shane Griffith, Nathan Traxler, Real Woods, Jaden Abbas, and Gabe Townsell. That is a solid group of guys right there that could be All-Americans. And Shane Griffith's gonna Shane Griffith could be a finalist. Real Woods could be a finalist within the next few years. It is just shocking how this happened. How Stanford could go and cut their program that again is over 100 years old and just give up on it. Now, is money tight in the college program right now? I'm sure it is. I'm really sure it is. But to cut any sport out of all this, you cut the wrestling program? I mean, seriously? I mean, come on now. Stanford is a privately funded school for a with a very high economic status, if you don't know. This diversified their socio socioeconomic status by having the rest of the program because you had different levels of the socioeconomic scale. Stanford's a very rich school. You have a bunch of very rich families that go there. I'm not gonna lie. But having the wrestling program divided that socioeconomic status. When you look at some of the other sports that were cut, that was on a higher socioeconomic scale that they had, for instance. And so those sports were for more of the high class kind of people. Like, you know, fencing was one. That's a high class sport, I'm not gonna lie. So it's just utterly shocking that they cut the program. So, I mean, as a wrestling community, we have to do something. We have to save the Stanford wrestling program. I mean, I know there's petitions on change.org right now that are, people are signing to petition to save the program. And it's like Jason Borelli said, this isn't the first time the program was almost cut. And that he is going to fight till the very end to save this program. It's not going to be cut immediately. They are going to have a year. This 2020-2021 season could be their last year if nothing is done. That does not need to happen. This program is on the rise. These wrestlers are going to lose a home in Stanford, who they chose over in Iowa, over a Penn State, over in Oklahoma State, Cornell. I mean, Arizona State, Iowa State. They chose it at Stanford over all those schools. And to them to just go cut the program, that's a slap in the face. That is a major slap in the face. But when you look at it, there's... They, the program shouldn't be cut to begin with. But Jason Borelli and his crew are going to have a year to be able to figure out how can we save the program. And I believe he will do it. I believe they will save the program. Because they will have the 2020-2021 season uh, as of right now. It's not going to immediately cut, like I said before. It, they're going to let them have this last season. So I believe Jason Borelli and his staff will figure out a way. I believe just like the whole Arizona State situation, 10 years ago, actually, when they were about to cut Arizona State's program um, and donors and the UFC and multiple facets came in and supported the program, gave it money and all that kind of stuff. I believe the same thing is about to happen here. I really do believe that. I hope it does. I would hate to see Stanford's wrestling program get cut because if it gets cut, I'll be honest, it's, it's going to lead to a domino effect because out of all the schools, I believe there have been seven schools due to what is going on in the world right now. Um, they have cut their wrestling program. The second most prominent one, of course, being Old Dominion, which that one is still baffling just because were they the best? No, they were not. But their program had been around forever. They had a great coaching staff. And uh, theirs had to do with a whole bunch of different stuff. It just wasn't because of what's going on in the world. It has to do with poor athletic director stuff and all kinds of stuff at Old Dominion. But with Stanford... It could be the same thing, you know, poor athletic directors, uh, poor administration deciding to cut the sport for no reason, saying they, oh, look, we're saving money from what's going on in the world right now. You know, look what we're doing. We're trying to save money by getting rid of these programs. So we're trying to help y'all out, which in reality, they're not. They are not whatsoever because they are giving up on kids who chose Stanford over any other school they could have gone to. Wrestlers who were highly recruited, Real Woods, Shane Griffith, two of them just to be exact, Jay Navis, guys who were highly recruited 
in the wrestling world, and they are just giving up on that program in front of their face. That's a smack to the face in my mind. And it's like Jason Borelli said, and many other people said, the wrestlers coming out of that program are some of Stanford's best students. Are they smartest? No. But to be a good student, you don't have to be smart. You have to have a good work ethic. And that's what they have. They have been some of the best students at Stanford. So, kind of in conclusion to this, is what's going on with Stanford's wrestling ridiculous? Absolutely. It absolutely is. But, is there a way to save it? Yes, and I do believe it will be saved. I believe the Stanford wrestling program will be saved. And I do believe that this whole thing will work out where Stanford's wrestling program will not be cut, hopefully. But again, like I said, um, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below for the change.org uh, Stan Save Stanford Wrestling uh, petition. And again, uh, this has been the Duck Under with Austin Pettigrew. Remember, duck and cover.